Hello, welcome back to our weekly witnessing tip. I'm Gina. And I'm Mark. And it is one week until Christmas. Wow. Can you believe it? Yeah. Yeah, it has just flown by. And all month long we have been talking about different ways you can use December to witness. Uh, the first week we talked about preparation, right. preparing with prayer. The next week we talked about Christmas lights and how you could get into a conversation about Christmas lights and point to Jesus being a light in the darkness. Last week you shared about the Christmas tree right. and how uh, Jesus gives us life and the life he lived for us, right? Right. right. And now this week we have the beautiful, what, what do you call this plant here? Everyone has a different pronunciation. I, I call it poinsettia. Okay, I say poinsettia, but some people I know say poinsettia. Right. But apparently it can be either or. The dictionary says so either or. We don't need to get into a fight about it. So, <laughs> <laughs> so how can we use the poinsettia in witnessing? Uh, yes, what, what we've been trying to do is always try to have a little hook to kind of have people ask questions. So what I sometimes have done with a poinsettia, if there's one around, I say, you know, a poinsettia always reminds me of a purple heart. Hmm. Mm -hmm. is the reaction you get. Yeah. If you don't say anything, people will naturally say, well, why, right? right? And I think we all know that purple hearts are given to soldiers who are either wounded or killed in battle. Mm -hmm. and, and that's really what we want to emphasize with a poinsettia is that Jesus not only lived for us, a Christmas tree, but that he also died for us. Mm -hmm. And that he came on mission, he was deployed by God the Father to come and rescue us and it cost him his life. And a poinsettia is a good reminder of that, first of all, by the color red. Right. Right? The red of, of Jesus' blood. Mm -hmm. And then a lot of times people also point uh, to the, the leaf at the end of the leaf, how they're kind of pointed. And they remind some people of Jesus' crown of thorns. Oh. And, and between those two facts, uh, that it's red, and that's probably where I would put the emphasis, right. but also the, the crown of thorns, you can get into a discussion that Jesus came and he was our great hero. He came on a mission. Right. He came on a mission and the mission was to rescue us and cost him his life. And thus, this reminds me of the Purple Heart. Wow. And, and, and a lot of times, it's just again, I just want to encourage everybody, when they do this, they don't have to get into a long witnessing discussion. Mm -hmm. Throw that out, maybe get a little bit, and then eventually people over time will probably ask you more questions. Right. So. Yeah, and what a what a memorable nugget that would be yeah. to share. Right. Yeah, very meaningful. So, well, we have one more witnessing tip in this uh, series of using December to witness, and it will be next week, and we'll be talking about how you can continue to witness Christ at Christmas year-round. Year-round. So, we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.